Alrighty, YouTube. I just did a video about making a multi-strand leadered kingfish rig. Double treble king mackerel rig for either slow trolling with those live baits and or, like I do, I troll dead bait, a dead cigar minnow. I'll put the link below to that video about using the multi-stranded American fishing wire and tying the figure eight knot. Now, we're gonna go back to the old used to be rig that used to be great. Everything was just great. And then, you know, the tournament guys You know, they always are looking for something a little better, I guess you could say. But you're not tournament fishing. You're like me. You just want to go out and catch some kingfish. So, what do we got here? We got a bag of trebles, number four trebles. Yes, 99.9% .9 of everybody is going to use Eagle Claw 774 bronze number four four times strong that's not what these are these are vmc 9626 perma steel number four so that's what i'm using because that's what i have in front of me and then the single strand as we used to call it in the old days it's called piano wire right you're not going to be able to see it very well it's extremely thin it's so thin the fish can't see it. How about that? Compared to the thicker, multi-stranded stuff. That's easier to tie. The name of that last video was Beginner's Guide to Making Kingfish Rigs. You know why? Because that is literally the easiest rig to make. Now, and I still make them, I do not have a preferred way of making a king mackerel rig. Personally, to me, single strand malin wire or anything that's a copperish color like this is usually what you want to use this is 40 so that's 40 single strand and what we're going to do is the old haywire twist rigs like i said i have no rig that i prefer more than the other i am an old school kind of guy and i if i was leaning towards anything I'd lean towards the single strand wire myself just because I'm used to it, just because I've used it all this time. So there's a number four, four times strong VMC perma steel, number four. I'm going to take the end of my wire, which during this entire video, you probably are not going to be able to see it very well. And I don't know what to do about that. I really don't know what to do about it. Let's see something here. Is it gonna look better up against this board? Let's see. All right, here's what we're gonna do, folks. I'm gonna try to work this up against the board. I'm gonna put the camera even closer. This is what you do. You take your single strand wire, you're gonna put your hook on, this is how I do it, as I, re, as I reiterate in every video. Everybody does this a little bit different, most likely. I'm a compact. I'm a, I'm a guy that does this, what I call the compact way. Then there's people that do it the long way, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Put your wire through your treble hook. Give yourself a couple inches. Pinch it. This is all about finger placement. Spin a loop and pinch. If you can see that. Spin a loop and pinch. Just like every other fishing knot in the world, it's all about finger placement. That's how we tie good knots. Because we know where to put our fingers. If not, it's referred to as a tangle. A knot is nothing more than an organized tangle. All right, so we got our loop. And then you're going to grab that loop and you're going to twist. And you're 
the start of a haywire twist. A haywire twist is when you got your, think of this as straight right here. And now you're going to have 45 degrees coming off here, 45 degrees coming off here. Stick your fingers in between. You're still holding on to the loop here at the hook eye. And you're going to stick your fingers in between and turn. And you're going to go in again. You're going to have them 45 degree angle. Turn. You're going to go in there. Same thing. Turn. Then you're going to do it again. Turn. So then you get what they call a haywire twist. Do that about, I don't know, I do it five, six times until I just feel comfortable. Okay? And I feel comfortable right now. Now you're going to take the tag end and you're going to bend it 90 degrees from the whole rig. I hope you can see that up against Mr. Board. Now, you're going to back up with your thumb and you're going to do a, you did the 90 degree bend. Now you're going to do the 90 degree turn, which would be referred to as the barrel wrap. That right there is the haywire twist. Now you're going to do barrel wrap. You did five or six there. Then you're going to do five or six barrel wraps. And you're going to practice this because it doesn't come natural. And you're going to do it tight. There you go. And you're going to stack these up underneath each other. You know I'm doing that. And it's not easy looking through the viewfinder. As a matter of fact, that one doesn't even look that great. But we're going to go with it. So, then you have that. You've got your haywire twist, and you've got your barrel wraps. Then you're going to take it, you're going to go in here, you're going to get this, and you're going to, again, finger placement, and you're going to come on down, and you're going to push, and then you're going to pump. Push, pump, push, pump, push, pump, push, pump. And then that piece will break right off. When that breaks off, unlike the other rig, with the other wire, this now, look at this, what I can do with my fingers. I can push my fingers up there. I never get stuck by any tag end at all. So then... You're going to say to yourself, okay, well, how long do I want to make my leader? I, again, I do about 24 inches. All right. So there's my leader wire. Here's my hook. There's my... Now I'm going to make it that long. Okay, there you go. That's how long it is. So now... I cut some other spare pieces. Now I'm going to make the stinger, the stinger hook. Same exact thing, but with a shorter piece, maybe about 10 inches to a foot. Same exact thing. Go in, give yourself a couple inches. See my finger placements? I'm pushing that wire up and I'm not I'm not putting a giant bend in it. I'm not putting a giant bend in it. I'm making more of a loop. And I'm going to twist. Go in with my fingers. Twist. Go in with my fingers. Twist. Go in. Twist. Twist. There you go. See how I'm not crimping this? It's just a loop. Let the fish do all the hard work, okay? There you go. Just a loop. And when I said I like to make mine compact, I don't like giant loops down here. And I do compact a lot of this haywire twist. People, I'll show you another way that sometimes people do it. So then I'm going to go in. I'm going to make a 90. There I am making a 90. And I'm going to go around the standing part of the wire and bake the barrel wrap. All right. And everything about this is literally feel. So there you go. 
Good enough. Good enough. Go in. Hold down here at the loop. Grab this end. Put a little bend in it. And then pump it back and forth. And pull that little piece off. Discard that. And look how smooth that is. I can run my fingers over it. Now we're going to attach our stinger rig here. There's our stinger. Now we're going to attach that to this hook. This will be the nose hook of your pogey, your cigar minnow, whatever the heck you're using. So now we're going to take the stinger rig wire and we're going to go through the eye of the front hook. Like just like the other rig, do a judgment call of how long you think this needs to be. So it's kind of hanging back about three quarters from the, from the mouth of your live bait or dead bait. For me, it would be a cigar minnow. Then you're going to do it all over again. You're going to make a loop. Make a loop. I don't like a big loop. I like the little loops. And then you're going to hold it. Man, this is tough with the camera in the way. And you're going to twist, 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 twist. See how they're 45 degrees from center. If this was a straight line, that's a 45, that's a 45. I do about five twists or so. And then I'm going to straighten this one up. Make sure that's good and straight. I'm going to take this one and I'm going to put it at 90 degrees. So as you can see, look on the board against the board there. You got my loop. I got my haywire twist. Now I'm going to barrel wrap. I'm going to go around, around. And that's locking it in. That's basically locking this in. I'll show you in a minute how some of them are done. I've never really had any issues with the way I make them. Right? I'm a I'm like I said, I like it. I like it tight. Alright, so then of course we've got the end again. Everything you're gonna back it up with your fingers. And you're going to push down with your fingernail. And now you're going to make the little pump handle and you're going to break that off. There's your kingfish rig. You got your hook. That's about how long it is. You can see the size of my pliers. My pliers are extra jumbos. If that was a cigar minnow, that was this long. This will go into his lips. I actually put the hook up underneath. I always check. See right there? When I go to hook a cigar minnow on here, dead of course, because that's what I like to use, I have this down underneath hanging. And actually this board is getting to be really in the way. So, I have it hanging. That will be straight. Just like my other video, I'll slide on a one ounce egg. I will pin my bait on through the lips through the top part of the head and they'll be riding right here and I will bring in my one ounce egg that I put over here and then if I'm using this for his head to ride on this is a free swinger right here it'll kick on back and sort of lay as I'm clipping along at 1000 to 1400 rpm 1200 rpm okay doing my dead cigar minnow troll I leave this, the other end, I leave it open with no swivel on it or anything like that so I can throw on my egg. I do a quick onto a swivel. I do a quick, same thing we just did here, haywire twist backed up with a barrel wrap. You can make a kingfish rig out of traditional single strand. Takes a little bit longer maybe an extra minute or two and there you go there's your kingfish rig that's the ones you'll see in the stores do not go 
through wire to wire. See that? The loop for the leader part is on one part of this hook. For the stinger, it's on the other. Make sure these do not get looped together because they will break. You want it like this. Loop on one side, loop on the other, go into your stinger. So let me show you what it looks like when somebody else does it even. Bring the board on in one more time. They, there's a machine that actually does this too. You can buy a machine. You can buy a tool. You've got 10 tools. You don't need that. There's how much I'm gonna stick out. There's my hook, I went through. Some people bend it and they'll do this long, long hay or, uh, haywire twists. Look how long that is. I don't do that, I do it tight. Right? They'll do a real long one. I've just never done it that way. I don't think there's any right or wrong way, to tell you the truth. Look how long that is and how wide that haywire twist is. Then they'll go in and they'll 90 it. Right? They'll go in and 90 that. And then do what they call the barrel wrap. And they'll do four or five of those around the main wire. That's what you're doing. You're locking it in. You're just locking it in. All right, then go in here, make your pump handle, and break that wire off. There you go. Get that, get rid of that. So then you've got this really long, look at that, that from here to here, that's damn near an inch or more. And then let's look at mine. This is just the way I've always done it. Everything's really tight. Okay, let's look at them next to each other. I don't know if you're going to be able to see this. I have no earthly idea until I see it in the editing process. But this is really long and spread out, and mine isn't. Mine's tight. I always just do them tight. Okay, so that's two different styles. I just, I'm a high and tight kind of guy. Okay, I'm high and tight. This is long and not that tight. <laughs> All right, so that is the wire kingfish haywire twist barrel wrap to lock her in. Double treble cigar minnow, pogey, ballyhoo, you name it. You can build these rigs with the double trebles. Some people put a single hook, some people put a single up front. I don't because I'm usually using dead bait and the dead bait doesn't care. Little greasers. Live little greasers. That's what a lot of people will use. I just plain old use cigar minnows. Dead. That's my style. So it's because that's what I've pretty much done and had my most success with customers. So there you go. I made a whole bunch of them here. Like I said, I don't prefer one rig over the other. It's kind of like what mood I'm in. So check out the other video. I'll put the link in the description below of Beginner's Guide to Kingfish Mackerel Rigs using seven stranded wire. So thanks for watching. Give it the proverbial thumbs up. If I helped you in any way, don't forget, also in the video description is a link to my tip jar. Hey, 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 you're saving all those tips from driving through those drive throughs So why not throw a tip old Captain Dave's way for putting in all this effort to try to help you catch some kingfish, macaralis, cobia, bonita, barracuda, all can be caught either on the multi-strand 
and or single strand wire double treble bait rig. So I'll see you on the next one and maybe I'll see you out there. I wanna go fishing Cause it takes my stress away I wanna go fishing Try and cast my blue